In this video, we'll walk through how to use this Excel spreadsheet tied to Bloomberg for bringing in comparisons to multiple companies. I brought up this spreadsheet and, and this is the section where you compare the two companies, one main company against a competitor. But if you page down several sheets, there's a sheet called Bloomberg Data 2. And you'll notice in Bloomberg Data 2 there's a list of companies and there's a list of accounts. And the spreadsheet is set up for this many accounts. So what I need to do is bring in some tickers. The very first one should be my main company. So I'm going to go over to the list of the Russell 1000. And let's say Honeywell is my main company. So I'm going to copy its ticker over here. Paste it as values. And then the next one, the next companies I'm going to go back to the Russell list. I'm going to bring in about I don't know, 10 companies or so, 11 companies. I'm going to copy that and put those tickers into this spreadsheet. Again, paste as values. Now this spreadsheet, because sometimes the, um, the ticker is UN and sometimes it's UW and sometimes it changes. And so the safest way to do this is go in and edit every single one of these and just change it to US. I know it takes a few seconds, but if you got 50 companies then you can probably find an automated way to do that. But for our purposes right now, you could do, probably do a search for your place in space equity with S and that would, that would change them all. For our purposes I'm just going to manually do it. The way I'm editing is I'm hitting the function 2 key and then just backspacing hitting the S and hitting enter. So now I have my 11 companies. You can see how the data is updating. And here I have my accounts. So right here I have asset turnover for all of these companies. And at the very, very end, now for some reason this company doesn't have data every year, but it will just ignore it for the years it doesn't have it. So at the very, very bottom, I have the median, the 10th percentile, the 90th percentile, and here I have my company name. Now if you want to change that name, you can type over it here, whatever company you have. I have Walmart because that's the way I originally set it up. So probably if you're doing Walmart, that would have been the first one. And then over here you have your accounts. Well, it's set up to do this many accounts, but if you want to change one of these, so let's say instead of asset turnover, turnover we want something else, you can click Bloomberg, Fine Fields, and let's say we want to do an inventory turnover. So there's inventory turnover. Do add, apply, and close. And you'll see the inventory turnover shows up. So now we have our data. So what we need to do is similar to what we did at the other spreadsheet is take all of this and copy it to the next page. However, remember in the other analysis we just had two companies we selected all, but we can't do that because these functions down here we want to keep these formulas. So what we want to do is copy, just go to, the, go to cell A1, go to cell A1, hit your shift key and your down arrow and go right up to, right above where it says median and copy all the way across, I mean highlight all the way across, hit control C and then go to the next sheet where it says paste values, I'm sorry I'm in the wrong where it says Bloomberg Pace Values 2, go to cell A1, right click and click on the, um, the, the 1, 2, 3, so it Pace Values. And now you've got your company with the medians and if you want to graph it, you just hit the shift key and you highlight one, let's do the inventory turn. You highlight that one, then you do insert and you click the graph, hit the graph, and then you'll see series one is the median, series two is the um, 10 percentile, series three is the 90th percentile, series four is the company that you're looking at. It says Walmart, but it's not Walmart. You can change your titles in the graph, but just very quickly you can see that you can add quite a bit of data. Now if you want to add one more account to the very end, you'll notice if you go to the very end, you can come up on these numbers, hit your end key, E-N-D, and your right arrow, it will take you to the end. So if you want to add another account, 
see how it's color coded? It's gray, white, gray, white. So take, since the last one's gray, let's take the section that's white. Do control C and copy that over next to it. And then you'll notice it's, it, it does return on capital. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't do that in this spreadsheet, so just ignore what I just said. On, on the previous spreadsheet, the one that says Bloomberg Data 2, that's where you would add another account. Sorry about that. So go to the very, very end, and we'll take the white section that's Return on Invested Capital. Take that, copy everything down, including the medians and the company. Go over and paste that, and then you'll notice that it's doing equal Y7. Well, the previous one is equal E8, so this one needs to be equal E9. Now, there's nothing there because we haven't set it up yet. And so, if we put something in here, let's do asset turnover. So, Bloomberg, Finefields, asset turn, asset turnover. There you see that third one, add apply, close, and so if you go to the very, very end, one thing you have to change is in the formula, it says, it refers to BI2, you see how that says J3, which is the very beginning, telling if there's nothing there, just give me blanks, and then it's saying J3, which is the, uh, the company, and then BI is the account, so you change that BI to CC. Each time you copy it over, it's going to change, so you need to make sure that that says CCT. You hit Enter, you then hit Control, and then Shift, Control, Down, and Right, hit Enter, and then it will pull all that data for you. So it's a real easy way to get the data, and once you, if you add the new account, then you do the same thing. You do hit your Shift key, you copy everything all the way over, the very end, hit Control C, go to the Bloomberg Pace Values 2, go up to cell A1, right click, hit the number, and now at the very, very end, if you do end, right, you now have asset turnover. So it's very easy to add more companies, very easy to add more accounts, but if you're adding more companies, more accounts, make sure you're on the Bloomberg page. Once you have the Bloomberg page exactly like you want it, then copy it and paste it over to the Pace Value 1, then you can work from it work with it from home. Thanks.